I told you guys to wait. I told you to wait. And here we are. We're going to dive into 151 Japanese. More reprints are coming. Now, this is Sneaker Dunk. I know you guys have uh, talked a lot about Sneaker Dunk. Some of you guys think it's not legit. You don't trust it. This price isn't really real. Well, I'm going to show you exactly what the real price is. And I bought from Sneaker Dunk. And it's worked out in the past. So, currently, we are in the $40. We are finally in the $40 for these Japanese boxes. I said that these could go down all the way to 40 and I still think they can because there's more reprints coming. Super stoked on this. This is one of the greatest sets ever. $46 from Sneaker Dunk right now. Currently, it's the lowest price, but you do have to pay a shipping and import fee. So if we come over here, um, this is for six boxes. Now, I do have a, there was a little coupon going on, so it barely factors in, but so with six box, and you can play with the numbers, you know, the more you get um, depending on the time of day, sometimes getting 10 or more boxes is the best per box price. It really depends because the sellers vary, but this is six right here. I just have it scrolled down so you guys can't see my uh, shipping information. $38 for shipping plus a $10 fee minus my seven. Anyways, that comes out to $54 and 80 cents per box, which is insane. So low. So that's the shipped price. It's authenticated from Sneaker Dunk. You're back. You have buyer protection. I've used them before, so feel free. Um, and if you don't trust that, let's go on to the next thing. eBay. So these this currently is the cheapest price on eBay as of this recording that you can find a Japanese 151 booster box with shrink wrap. Now you can find them a little cheaper without shrink. That doesn't mean they're not legit. The Pokemon Center and some of the other stores although mainly Pokemon Center, were removing the shrink wrap from, uh, you know, when people were buying it. So $69. So it would still be cheaper to go through Sneaker Dunk at 54 shipped. So, and, you know, keep that in mind. I'd also don't believe there's tax on that, on the Sneaker Dunk. I'm not positive on that. I don't remember. Uh, then if you want to buy from somebody else that, you know, you guys have probably heard of Poke NE, his price is down to $69. Well, seventy, sixty nine, ninety nine. So obviously, a uh, very trusted, very trusted uh, seller here. So, uh, and he's going to take care of you if there's a problem, you know. Um, so, Pokey any out here with more uh, one fifty one. Then this is a TikTok deal, and this is for the store Cali Pokey House, which has really good reviews and they've had made a lot of sales so the only thing I don't know is if this has shrink or not but um, you know it depends if, if you're gonna open it anyway anyways we'll get into the shrink conversation at the end but $62 from from Cali Pokey House which is a legit seller I purchased from them before so you guys don't have to worry um, I just don't know if there's if there's shrink or not so um, but yes, that is the price. And let's see. It does not does not say if it has shrink or not. So these prices are dropping. These prices are still going to continue to drop, guys, because they're printing more because this it's been insane what's been happening. So they don't want these boxes to be $200 anymore, which eventually they will, again, because people will open them all. But it might take a long time to get there. Now, let's just take a look real quick at... Those are just some of the cheapest prices I was able to find from reputable sellers. Let's just jump into the singles real quick because I find I do find this interesting. What the uh, reprint has been doing to the the singles market. So this is the Japanese Charizard here. You can see ungraded. This was in December. Ungraded 120 bucks. PSA 10 around 220. Right. So then we we fast forward to here to current. This card has dropped below 100. This is one uh, 75 for a raw copy and only 154 for a PSA 10. So this is really great for collectors. These prices are going to continue to, to nosedive here because there's so many more cards out there now. Uh, so, you know, bad for currently bad for investors, but great for collectors. So that that's awesome to see. Take a look at the Blastoise as well. Uh, let's see back in December, we were looking at 41 bucks a card ungraded and 105 for a 10 and we're down to 34 ungraded and 78 and a 10 so so much more affordable than the Zapdos which is probably my favorite card out of this whole set to be honest it was 56 and 124 it dropped and then looks like the PSA 10 price actually came back up a little but anyways 90 
90 and a 10, 39 ungraded. Then the Venusaur, we'll take a look at that one as well. Uh, 106 and 42, and then we're down to 30, 30 bucks raw, which is pretty cool. Getting a lot more affordable, and like I said, I think they're just going to keep pumping this stuff out. So, and yeah, so 78 and a 10. So I don't think you can really you can really go wrong there. Now, I did want to talk to you guys about the shrink wrap. So there's sellers that are completely legit, lots of them, right? Just read reviews, leave uh, read feedback and stuff. There's plenty of sellers that are selling without shrink, and it doesn't mean that they're trying to scam you. That's the Pokemon Center and other stores that are taking the shrink wrap off. It doesn't mean the boxes aren't legit. It doesn't mean they've been tampered with. Make sure if you're going to rip the product, you're going to take it off anyways. So I personally, for boxes that I'm going to rip, I won't. I don't mind buying no shrink as long as it's from a reputable seller. Okay. Read the reviews. Okay. They're going to be out there. People are going to comment, uh, review that. Oh yeah. You know, I saw, um, there was an eBay seller who was selling no shrink and I went and I was reading the feedback and guy said, these are legit. I pulled the Zard, you know, like, don't worry. So just keep that in mind. And eBay also always has buyer protection. You know, there's always buyer protection. There's always your credit card company. So it's not like, you know, if you guys are going to um, rip, it's okay to get the no shrink. If you're going to collect sealed or invest sealed for like a long term, you probably want to go with the shrink wrap. But you do also have to keep in mind that people can shrink wrap things. So, you know, um, just be wary out there. Try to buy from a reputable seller or a, a good eBay. There's lots of great eBay resellers. You know, there's bad ones, but there's also a lot of good ones. So just keep in mind, leave the review, uh, read reviews, read feedback, and you guys will be okay. And Sneaker Dunk is totally, in my experience, totally fine. Like I said, I purchased from them before. The They put a little sticker on the box, you know, that's authenticated. And it went, it came pretty quick. And I will be getting more. Also, if you guys watch any of my other videos, if you guys have been doing what I said, well, one was to wait. But if you wanted to purchase, if you were dollar cost averaging this whole way down, you'd be doing real well. So um, that just goes to prove that dollar cost averaging really works. And if you would have listened to me uh, and waited to buy more boxes, then that would have done good for you considering we're now in the 40s i know technically technically you're not getting it in the 40s yet but that time is coming they're printing more i'm i've heard i've read uh that there's stuff coming in july still so it depends on your sources there's been lots of stuff going around lately there was a post on reddit also from uh, somebody who was supposedly high up at the pokemon com uh, company that they're reprinting everything in japanese including ev heroes which would be insane that's just, we don't know for sure. They obviously could. That's a rumor. We'll see. So that's what we're going to do it for this one, guys. I just wanted to give you a quick 151 update. Absolutely insane. Super excited that these prices are coming down. Uh, I, it's going to be great. I would love to see these boxes at MSRP, like $38 to $40. I'd love to rip a bunch of them, keep a bunch, and just throw them in the closet and forget that they're ever there. That's kind of my mindset. I want to do both. So I'm okay with the price tanking. I'm okay if it takes 5 to 10 years for it to get back up. It's not a big deal. That's where I'm at with it. If you guys bought high, uh, dollar cost average down. So I'll catch you guys in the next one. Remember, it was never a phase.